all right yo 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 guys what is going on today in today's video i wanted to make kind of something special i wanted to make a guide slash tutorial on how to improve your aim and what i think are the best steps in going towards that process aside from asking what my sensitivity is this is probably one of the most asked uh, questions on my channel is strafe how can i uh improve my aim on pc mouse and keyboard what uh, aim training scenarios do you do what programs do you do i'm going to cover all of that in this video so if you guys have been waiting for this here it is i made this video a while back but i have decided to update it because i've changed a few things so yeah i'm not going to make this video longer than it has to be i'm gonna just give you guys the basics and everything that you will need to do what i do so first things first this is my video from yesterday but um you can just do it on this video i will have the link down in the description for the program i use i use a program called aim lab if you guys are not familiar with it so all you have to do is just go into my video description and find this right here improve your aim for free with aim lab on steam click this link and it will take you to the download now it should link you to the steam page for aim lab just go ahead and download that like any other normal steam game that you would do now for the next step for the actual routine that i have been working on and have been developing alongside ra i will have a link to the discord the same step as before you're just going to go to the team aiming discord ra link right here and that will link you to this discord you go into the resources channel and right here ra x-ray for zone routine just click this link and it will download as a steam file kind of like a dlc would download and yeah just do that next you're actually going to want to start up aim lab just from steam and wait till that loads up so once you guys are on the aim lab home screen here i will just show you my settings real quick if you guys would like to use what i have um, for crosshair that's kind of just preference i like a white little cross but you guys can change this to your liking you can change the color um size if you want whatever you want for that and now for audio i will have to add some more hit sounds but for now i'm using tommy shot one um, if you'd like to get some more hit sounds you can just download them and then drag them into the file directory for that um, and all this volume is just kind of preference as well now for my graphics uh, you're going to make sure you're on full screen obviously uh, just runs a little bit better lower latency um, display res set that to your current resolution of your monitor as well as the refresh rate i am using a 240 hertz monitor Hence the 240 hertz <clears throat> for display stretch ratio i have that on off queued frames i have it one for low latency frame rate limiter i have on but i'm not really sure what that does so i'm gonna just leave it on uh, max frame rate you could just put this to whatever um might as well just put it a thousand graphics quality um this kind of just depends on how good your pc is i kind of just have mine on fantastic because i still get above 240 and it looks really nice Alrighty, so for visuals, this is kind of important. There's a lot of philosophy behind different color visuals and if you should have texture in your um, visuals or not. Um, I will just give you guys mine, but if you guys would like to dive deeper into this topic, I will have a link to a video down in the description in which you can um, learn more about visuals and that kind of thing. But I pretty much just do an all white um, enemy and pretty much leave everything here the same. I don't really mess around with too much. You can kind of just do this to your liking. But yet again, these are just my settings and what I'm using so far. Now I figure most of you guys are watching me for Warzone and I do have this configured for Warzone. Um, so you're just gonna have to select the game series. So Warzone is a part of Call of Duty and then you're gonna wanna select the game that you're using. Now just put all of these settings in as you would in Call of Duty. So on Call of Duty, I use between a 2.75 and a 3.0 sensitivity. Um, so just use something like that. Field of view, I like to switch this between 103 and 120. I wouldn't go outside of that. Um, that just depends on the scenario that I'm playing. If I need a little bit more zoom, I will put it to 103. Um, but if I don't really need much zoom and don't have to be too precise, I can put that to uh, 120. Next in Call of Duty, they use legacy or relative as well. I am using relative with a 1.77 coefficient. As for what you use for this, I'm not really sure. That's just kind of what I've been using since I started playing the game. As for why, I'm not really sure. ADS field of view, I'm not really sure what this is for. I kind of just match this with the field of view up here. Um, so this should probably 103 as well. So yeah, we'll just match those. I'm not really sure what those do entirely, but I would just match them for good practice. Y axis sensitivity, I just leave this at one. I, you know, I like a uh, one to one X and Y sensitivity. All this other stuff I don't really play around with, but yeah, there you go. They also have some controller options, but I've never used controller for this, so I'm not really sure how to advise for that. Next for game settings, this is kind of just uh, more towards the visual side of things. Um, you can tune this to your liking as well. Head up display, um, I just have this on, on. Countdown duration, you can turn that off if you want before you start a scenario. And you can you guys can customize the colors to your liking as well. Now, something important for gameplay settings I do here is I turn off uh, recoil and sway. You don't wanna see that as well as the weapon because I prefer not to see the weapon. Keybinds, I don't really change anything here. These aren't too important aside from maybe resetting a scenario. Um, but for the most part, you could probably just use the default binds here and be all right. 
So those are all of the settings I'm going to cover. Now, if you guys would like to find scenarios, I will show you how to do that. So there are plenty of community made scenarios within here, as well as some made by AimLab. In order to play the playlist that I was talking about earlier with the download link from RA, you should just be able to go to the playlist tab here, search my name, Strafe, and two will pop up. This is a fan made one that I was using before, but this is the new one that um, I worked alongside RA to create. So just click on this. It should be already downloaded because you guys used that link in the RA Discord before. Um, and all you have to do is just click play on this. It'll say press any key or click here to continue. Just do that, follow the instructions. It'll load up the scenario. It'll give you a countdown. This is a setting I talked about earlier. You can turn this off if you want. And then yeah, you'll just play through your scenario. So when you guys are done, I didn't play this one through, um, but when you guys are done, you can either do next task or you can replay that same task. Um, if you don't have a lot of time, I recommend you can just do everything once. But if you have a lot of time on your hands, you would like to use this to practice more. Um, you could probably replay each scenario two or three times. But anyways, all you have to do is just click next task to proceed and it will load up a new scenario for you. And then you just repeat that process until you finish it. So guys, that is pretty much it for the most part. Um, AimLab does offer a plethora of different opportunities and um, tasks to like focus on your weaknesses as well as uh, kind of diagnose what you need to improve on. So I recommend playing some of the scenarios from them and you can just view that all in profile. But yeah, there is a lot of stuff you can do on here, which is why I partner with them. I think it's a fantastic application, um, you know, to improve your aim to the best of your ability. And I would recommend it to anyone, hence why I'm making this video and posting it to my main channel. So again, guys, to recap, all you have to do is just go to the links in the description. First, download the aim lab using my link. Next, you'll have to go into the RA Discord and download my routine in the resources channel. And then find your settings, tune all of that to your liking. And then, yeah, you just have to play my scenario. And that's all I do. If you want, whenever you load up Call of Duty, you can shoot bots to warm up. I don't really recommend that for training unless you're on console and that's all you can do. Uh, but yeah, if you do have a PC, I am a huge advocate of aim training and aim trainers in general. So this is what I do um, to improve my aim. It's a practice. So this is what I would recommend. Anyways, I don't really make videos like this often, these tutorial kind of tip videos. Um, so if you guys have enjoyed this and you do enjoy uh, videos of this style, please be sure to let me know down below with a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. I was also thinking about making a video of all of the mice I have. This is only three of the three I have on my desk, but I have quite a few. Um, so if you guys would like a video maybe on like my different peripherals and what I recommend, um, I can do mouse pads too. So let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that as well as that would be a pretty cool video to make, I feel like. Anyways, I hope this video helps you out, guys, if you guys are looking to aim on PC. Like I said, I'm a huge advocate for aim trainers, so I wish you all the best of luck and good luck grinding those scores. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next upload, yo. Peace out.